Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, and afternoon wherever you are and I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are looking into their intentions towards you. So you're a person of interest. What do they intend um, to do towards you or with this connection. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so we have here um, three piles to choose from. We have the first pile here with the Wheel of Fortune, the second pile here with the Hermit, and the third pile here with the Star. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Um, keep in mind though that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate and that's okay. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. Do not make it fit if it doesn't fit. Um, I am available for personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, that information will be down below in the description box. Um, and then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me and my channel in whatever way you feel guided to do so. Um, I really appreciate your kindness, your thoughts, um, your comments, your love, your trust. Like It really means a lot to me, so thank you so much. Um, so yeah, so without further ado here, let's get on to your reading. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Wheel of Fortune, this is your reading for your person of interest, intentions towards you. So right off the bat, I definitely feel like this person is really, really serious about you. Their intentions towards you is to give this a second chance to give this relationship with you a second chance because you do have second chance here it says this relationship deserves a second chance so yeah this person definitely wants to give you a um to give this relationship to give you a second chance they are hoping that you will give them a second chance the only thing i'm kind of seeing here is that this person is kind of at a crossroads or like a little bit confused as to their approach to you or how to approach you with this because um i don't know if they feel like you will give them a second chance and I think they're a bit nervous and they feel like you're a bit nervous about giving this relationship a second chance because there were so many obstacles in the past I definitely feel like you both have a strong bond towards one another like you both are like counterpart counterparts in a sense and um there's been a lot of like maybe things you needed to learn with one another and things you needed to learn apart I feel like it is this relationship was kind of like a coming and going like it never really got grounded or situated or like something about it just seems a little bit unstable or like was a little bit unstable I'm just getting like complicated like this was like a complicated situation I think divine timing was definitely at play here and I think you both needed to kind of awaken more to your own insecurities and to your own um healing journey and just your own inner obstacles before really coming together and I do feel like the time has come for you both to decide whether you want to come together or not I see coming together because we have the ten of pentacles and the four of wands and that to me is like a solid foundation a stable commitment a long-term commitment and like your your relationship elevating to a higher level of commitment so I definitely feel like that's on the table for you guys if that's something you both want but I don't know I'm getting this like hesitation it could have something to do with this insecure card because I feel like this person is very I feel like mostly this person is just insecure about approaching you with this but I do think because they are so serious about you and they want a serious relationship with you it is making them a little bit nervous or anxious or just kind of bringing up a lot of like am I good enough can I do this and I see this person is more than capable of doing this because they're showing up as the emperor whether they're male or female doesn't matter it's just the energy of like them being stable them being committed them being serious them thinking long term them really focusing on you and you only especially like again we have like the ten of pentacles here so this person's looking for a long-term commitment a long-term partnership um this person is wanting to be like devoted to one person um and build with them and grow with them and build like a family or some type of legacy with you i definitely feel like this person in the past may have had poor self-image may have played mind games with you most definitely I do feel like there was a lot of love bombing um or just a lot of like 
manipulation in terms of feelings because one thing that I'm noticing is we don't have any cups here minus we have the seven of cups at the top but we don't have any like tarot like cups like of love here so I feel like this person is very much more on like practical side like earth I'm getting earth and fire so this person could be a um, Aries Leo Sagittarius fire um, or have those placements in their chart or um, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus I don't have those strong placements in their chart but Overall, I do feel like this person is definitely in love with you and sees you as the person they want to build a life with. I feel like this person is very obsessed with you. I feel like, like very obsessed with you. They only have eyes for you. I feel like this person is very focused on you and you only. Um, they are waiting for like the perfect time to tell you this. I don't know. Maybe something about timing here is why I'm getting this like hesitant type of energy from them. But I definitely feel like this person feels like you have the key to their heart. Um... This person's, like I said, very much in love with you, very much obsessed with you, very much finds you irresistible. Um, yeah, like this person only wants you. So if you thought this person wanted someone else or is with someone else, I definitely don't see that being the case. I think this person was just working on their own foundation and their own like, you know, trying to be secure within themselves. Um, sorry if you hear this loud ass truck outside my window um but anyways so yeah i definitely feel like their intentions towards you are very very serious i definitely feel like this person wants to tell you everything that they've been going through everything that they feel for you they want to share a life with you they want to share their burdens with you like they want to share their responsibilities with you they want to um oh my gosh this truck is so loud sorry if you hear that okay yeah they definitely want to they want to share a home with you they want to just be more serious with you i feel like this person wants to share like hobbies with you like pastimes like their time this person wants to give you time wants to give you effort wants to like really really i'm just getting such strong commitment like literally like this person is like knowing they need to make a decision knowing they want to make this decision with love versus fear because i do feel like this person was choosing fear in the past they can no longer hide how much they love you how much they want you how much they want to build with you how much they want to see you every day they want to like see you laying on their couch like you know what i mean they want to see you like they just want to see you like i don't know if it's been a lot it may have been a long time since you've seen this person like i feel like this person hasn't seen you in a very long time but they've been either looking at your pictures if you've sent them pictures they've kept them or like social media or something like that but this person has been watching you like keeping a very close eye on you but they are waiting for that perfect time to like tell you that they want to like live with you something in your relationship is elevating so if depending on where you are in your relationship so if you like are you know just dating they want to make it exclusive they want to make it serious if you are you know, not living together, they want to live together. If you are, um, like, they just want a commitment, like, something more serious. I feel like this person doesn't want to neglect you anymore. I feel like this person may have had other priorities in the past. I do feel like those priorities were work-related. Um, but I do feel like this person wants to, like, put effort and focus on you and focus on this connection and the love between you both i think they are trying to bring more balance back into this connection because i do feel like it may have been out of balance for a while in the past i mean we do have the judgment here at the top in reverse so this means again this is just giving me insecurity like because we do have insecure here but um this card speaks about ascending to a new level of partnership and embracing a new version of yourself and this relationship and again it speaks about a second chance in love so this person definitely wants a second chance with you i think they're just a little bit scared or hesitant on whether they can do this or not or whether they can embrace this new level of commitment with you and like whether they can ascend to a new level of um a commitment with you whether they can really give you the second chance that you do they just don't want to mess up basically this person wants to do things right because they feel like this is like their last chance and this may not even be your second chance with this person giving this person a second chance this may be your third fourth fifth whatever the case but whatever the case this person feels like this is their last chance to get it right and they really want to ground this connection this time so i definitely feel like this connection was not grounded in the past and they want to um tell you their truth and they're hoping that you can tell 
you tell them your truth as well. Um, they really want you to be able to trust them. They're trying to trust their heart because I do feel like this person has really deep fears about maybe in the past they had deep fears about commitment or like leveling up or giving putting an effort in this connection because they see you as someone who is long term potential and they're just really hoping they haven't messed this up or messed up your view of them in a way i do feel like this person is going to explain this to you but this person has a lot of ideas about what they want moving forward with you and i think they're going to share those ideas with you if you allow them to they're really hoping that you will hear them out and open your heart to them and trust them trust what they're saying like i said this person is very serious i mean always use your intuition but i'm getting like this person is serious is gonna come to you in a serious manner is not gonna like joke around or like you know fool around with you about their feelings or about what they want with you i do feel like this person feels like your love the love that you share can overcome any obstacles has taught them so much about what they need to work on in terms of healing um I do feel like there will be, I feel like the only obstacle I'm kind of seeing in your connection is more like one of like being busy with work or being busy with like other responsibilities. But I do feel like, again, this is something that this person wants to share with you, um, like paying bills and like stuff like that. Like, I just feel like this person wants to like share that kind of stuff with you and like have like this person sees you as a partner. And they're hoping that you see them as a partner. But I do feel like there's going to be a lot of things you both are going to learn about each other and learn about this connection. I definitely feel there's, like, again, more healing, obviously, to take place. But I think you both are ready to really, like, make a decision about this and make a serious decision about where this connection is going and what you want moving forward. Um, yeah, but this has all been, like, divinely timed. So if you felt like maybe in the past that this wasn't the right person I felt like it was I feel like it's definitely the right person just wasn't the right timing but I hate that saying because it's just like you met them when you met them so whatever like you know what I mean like I hate like it's wrong person or right person wrong time or whatever that saying is and it's just like you met them when you needed to meet them it's just you know for it to like come together in the way that you both wanted to, I think there was a lot of lessons and a lot of things you both needed to learn before that could happen because I just feel like maybe you both deal with like deep rooted insecurities that needed to come to the surface that you both brought out in each other for a purpose so that when you both were ready to finally commit in a very mature, healthy way, it was going to be long lasting. So yeah, that is what I see. But um, yeah, that's what I see. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with um, deeper insights and guidance to what you, um, why can't I, I feel like I'm losing thoughts. I'm losing, oh my gosh, Char. Okay, anyways, I hope this was helpful. So I'm going to leave it here. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Hermit card, this is your reading for their intentions towards you. So, um, very mixed energy, I'm not gonna lie. This person, they have, it's mixed energy. <laughs> okay, let me just, let me get into it. Okay, so I feel like this person's intentions towards you is to spend time with you most definitely is to enjoy your company is to make you laugh is to have fun um I'm not I'm getting they want to work on things but I'm not getting like this person's ready for like a full-blown like committed relationship so I think this person definitely wants to apologize I think they're really nervous about that because they feel really embarrassed or ashamed for what they've done in the past and they just are scared to approach you that you won't they feel like you won't accept their apology honestly they feel like you feel like it's over between you both like you've just kind of they feel like they feel you feel like you've broken they've broken your heart way too many times if that makes sense I feel like this person has a lot of hope but I'm also hearing false hope so I feel like this person could have false hope for some of you I do feel like it is over between you and this person like you don't want to hear from this person you're really just 
really indifferent towards them, I do feel like you will hear them out and you will accept their apology, but you have no interest in like continuing a romantic relationship with them. It doesn't mean that you don't love them because I do see like you may still have like lingering feelings, but I think a lot of that is from like unfinished business from the past with this person or just a lack of closure with this person. So I do feel like this person is going to give you that closure. But I, for a lot of you or I don't know, just I feel like for a good majority of you, I don't think you're going to take this person back. I think you're going to leave things alone with this person because this person may have chosen something or someone else over you. And that's just something that you just can't seem to for good reason, obviously. Um, You just can't get over. Like, you know what I mean? You can't look past it. And even if that's not forever, right now, I feel like you're just like, I can't look past it. Like, we're going to have to just keep things... Almost like you accept this person's apology, but you don't want them back in your life. And I feel like this person wants to be back in your life or wants to have that door open for them to come back in a... I'm not, I can't even say in a serious way, but this person just wants you to have the door open for them to come back when they're ready to put in like serious effort. And I'm seeing this person wants to put in effort, but I think it's going to go unnoticed by you because you're still angry with them or you still have some resentment towards them. Um, you're just not ready to really, for some of you, you're not even ready to hear this person out or to accept their apology is what I'm getting. I th I just think there was a lot of like, either this person ghosted you or you might even ghost this person. I just feel like maybe this person like criticized you a lot or something, some type of alter, not altercation, but some type of like argument or some type of like, um, just something happened in the past where you just don't, don't know if you want to give this person another chance. Or you don't, you don't know if you want to get, let this person back into your life, especially with the Ten of Swords being here. But there's the wait, we have the Sun card. So maybe it's just a timing thing. Maybe honestly, you're just not ready to let this person back into your life, which is fine. Um, but it's this person's still going to try to come back into your life. And I think that's when you have to tell them like, you're just not ready to hear from them. You're just not ready to like, to deal with this for some of you you may even give this person the silent treatment or the cold shoulder or like like I said ghost them but it's like and for some of you I feel like this person has already tried to kind of contact you but you're kind of ignoring them or like I said like giving them the cold shoulder and this person may have even tried to apologize but you're just not ready to hear it or you don't want to hear it right now um and if that's the case I do think you're thinking it over whether you want to give this person a second chance but I again I think the majority of you you don't really want to give this person a second chance I think you would I think you do but your like head won't let you does that make sense I think your heart because the sun is like soulmates to me like this is someone that you thought about sharing a life with this is someone that you thought about sharing abundance with this person I do feel at one point made you really happy and you thought you could be really like happy with this person successful with this person like have a very happy fulfilling relationship but then something transpired and now you're just kind of like I don't know if we can get that back like I don't know if we can have that back and I feel like you like it's like you want to but you're just scared that this person is going to mistreat you or deceive you in some way or just Something about it you're just apprehensive about. So, which is probably why we have time apart here. So you have two, like, this, two extra cards here. So with time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. I definitely think you're going to take some time apart from this person. You're going to create some distance between you and this person so you can figure out what it is that you want. And I do feel like this, this is not going to be the last time you hear from this person, like, them coming towards you I do feel like this person is going to come towards you several times um we have here the four of wands in reverse the temperance and the emperor so with the four of wands being in reverse the four of wands upright is like reaching a new level of love and commitment but when it's in reverse it's like that's stopped um again like it's like you're not happy with the way things are you're not happy with this person you don't know if you want to be in a relationship with this person like you don't know if you want a partnership with them it's like you once enjoyed them but now it's like 
you're just indifference towards them and honestly I think a little bit angry and still holding some resentment towards them and I definitely feel like this person knows this this is not something new to this person or they're not shocked by this I just feel like this person was hoping that you would give them a second chance or have a window open for them or a door open for them for them to kind of make things up with you but it's like even that's kind of pushing it, I feel, on your part. Like, you just feel like, I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm getting like this, definitely this hermit of like, you just need to kind of figure things out on your own and you just want some space to do that and some like, it's almost like you're working on yourself. Like, you're working on your healing. You're working on um, freeing yourself from certain patterns, beliefs. Like, you're growing and transforming. And I definitely feel like this person is too, but there's still some underlying anger or like bitterness because we have the bitterness card, like resentment going on between you both. And honestly, I think it's like on your side because, and it's not, not that you're bitter. I mean, for some of you, you could be, but it's like, it's more of like a resentment. It's more of like um, uh, an indifference I'm feeling. But yeah, I, I definitely feel like you're trying to grow and evolve and be the best version of yourself and be true to yourself and you don't know if this relationship if this person can help you do that is really supportive of you doing that because it's like I do feel like there was a lot of hiding or like a lot of insecurities or insincere energies from this person in the past and I do feel like this person may have manipulated the situation a lot or manipulated you a lot and I think you're just protecting yourself, honestly. I think you're just trying not to, like, go there right now. Um, you don't know, like, it's like you're just thinking about in the moment how you feel, which I think is really good. So I think you're just kind of being in the moment and right now you're just not ready to deal with this person or give this person another chance, especially with temperance here. This is all about patience. So I do feel like this person, it has to be patience with you, patient with you. I do think they're going to be um, because they know that, you're transmuting, you're changing, you're growing, you're healing just from what they've done and stuff like that. And just from other areas in your life. And I think this person is really um, inspired by that. So it may like, what's the word, be a catalyst to their healing, to their transmuting of old energy. And because this person does love you, honestly, like, but I don't think you believe that right now, which is why there needs to be this time apart in this space. And with the emperor here, I do feel like there is like, you know, this is like divine masculine energy, whether you or whether this person is a male or female, it doesn't matter. But the energy of it is just like ready to take action, ready to commit, ready to lead. And I do feel like this person is ready to do that. But I don't think you're ready to let this person to allow this person to do so because of you're still like kind of healing from the past, which is fine, like I said. So I think there's just like needs to be a conversation um, at some point in time doesn't have to be now but I do think this person is going to apologize to you and like offer you like some type of olive branch or a gift or something like that and I do think you're gonna turn it down for most of you because you're just not ready and there's other things that need to be discussed and you're maybe not ready to discuss them or again you just need some time alone but I do think you're seeing a lot of like serendipity it's not serendipity but um you're seeing a lot of synchronistic patterns when it comes to this person. Like you're seeing a lot of like number patterns or signs about this person coming back towards you or um, you're just seeing a lot of things that reminding you that this isn't finished, if that makes sense. Like this is something that you're going to have to put to an end. And I do you see with the Ten of Swords, you're going to put it to some type of end and then decide what you want to do afterwards but you definitely have some a very strong soul contract like I'm getting like soulmate vibes here doesn't mean that this has to be a romantic soulmate or this has to be someone that you see it like you have as your life partner but you do have a soul connection with them um it is like it was fated and destined that you met them because you do share some type of soul contract with them and meant to teach you both meant to like transform you both honestly it, it, all the everything's for a reason like everybody comes into your life for a reason and I do think you both were meant to come into each other's lives to help each other grow and to open up to to learn how to be your truest self with yourself and with another and I definitely feel like this connection has 
made you both see a lot of blocks that maybe you weren't seeing in previously um and how to free yourselves from those blocks and I think a lot of that comes from like again like insecurities uh, maybe even jealousy anger how to deal with anger and how to like communicate anger and co- just communicate your emotions in a general sense like I think this relationship is teaching you how to be more present with your feelings and how to communicate your feelings in a healthy way instead of like ghosting or you know criticizing or you know just giving each other silent treatment stuff like that so I definitely feel like um also like you both learning how to be like again more of your true self and like let go of this mask because we have the mask card here so you know no longer putting on a front no longer hiding um no longer needing to really like overly protect yourself but really trusting and I do feel like this person broke your trust at some point in time um and I think that's what you're just dealing with is like learning how to trust yourself again because you really thought that this was your person and I'm not saying this isn't your person but you just feel like the it's like you f- you feel like this is someone important to you, but your mental, like, your head is like, this person, like, really hurt me. This person did this. How could this person love me and then do something like this? Or, you know what I mean? It's like you're going through this battle with yourself about it, which is perfectly fine. I think you just need this space and this time to kind of clear yourself again, transmute some of that energy and, and learn from it and, and, um and release it because this person's gonna come back around a few times so they're gonna be around and I think the more that you can be honest with them the better this will go for both of you because right now I'm seeing you both are kind of on different pages um but yeah so yeah so this is what I see for you guys so I hope this was helpful I hope this provided you with some deeper insights and guidance to your situation um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later take care hello pile three and welcome to your reading if you chose the star card this is your reading for their intentions towards you so this person has pretty good intentions towards you I think their intentions towards you honestly is to kind of plan for the future to plan a life together um I definitely feel like if you're seeing a lot of threes that's significant it um is just extra confirmation that this person has you on their mind they're wanting to communicate with you so you could be in a no contact situation um and they're wanting to kind of not kind of but they're wanting to continue this journey continue this relationship they don't want to give up on you or on this relationship yet and i definitely feel like this person feels bonded to you in some type of way because we have two cards here that have like that red string of fate we have with the judgment and the three of wands and we have the three of wands twice so um yeah this person feels divinely tied to you divinely connected to you I definitely feel like they want to give this a second chance they want to reconcile with you they want to um meet up with you again and hang out with you I do feel like this person wants to date you or plan or is planning a, a date with you like a date night with you they are very nervous and scared about this I think you both are a little bit apprehensive um it's like you've always had this like strong chemistry this strong attraction to one another but when it comes to like solidifying stuff and like communicating those feelings I think you both get caught up in your head a lot and it may not come out the way that you both want it to come out so you both feel like you've missed opportunities to really ground this connection at least your person does um but I feel like this is something you feel too. I also feel like there's been a lot of harsh lessons with the judgment here um, between you both. A lot of like regret, especially on your person's side, maybe on yours as well. I think there's been a lot of where this person maybe took you for granted and is now kind of realizing this. I This person's been doing a lot of problem solving, a lot of shadow work, a lot of like um, hermiting. I think they've been spending a lot of time alone, like really just trying to think things through and really trying to understand why they didn't take opportunities when they were given in the past. And when this person knows that, you make them really, really happy. Because I see this person, first of all, really wants to see you and really wants to meet up with you. So I think it's been a while um, since the last time you saw each other. And I definitely feel like this person, 
feels happy with you. They want a happy relationship with you. This person enjoys you. They enjoy spending time with you. You emotionally fulfill this person. And this person wants to get this relationship back on track. They want a partnership with you. And I think that's what they're planning for. So yeah, this person, I think in terms of their intentions, I think they want to try something new. And what they want to try is like having a relationship with you, having like a serious relationship with you. They want to have a very passionate, I'm just being drawn to this three of cups, like a very passionate relationship with you. This person wants success. They definitely want to heal some things that hasn't been healed between you both yet. Um, This person definitely wants to speak to you with the page of swords. I think they may come across very blunt when they do it, but they want to speak the truth to you and they want to speak what's in their heart to you without holding back because I feel like this person in the past has held back a lot of what they wanted to say and they're just hoping you give them the space and you like hear them out because this person is is really going to come forward and and tell you how they feel. I think they're just gaining the courage now. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So yeah, this person's just not being not in a very courageous place right now which is why they're kind of not stalling I heard stalling but for some of you this person could be stalling but for others of you I think they're just trying to gain the courage to start this new phase of your relationship and take action and rekindle something because this person I'm just getting a lot of passion for you this person has a lot of passion for you and they're feeling very guided towards you but they're kind of nervous not is nervous the right word they're like apprehensive they're in their head too much they're apprehensive about it because I feel like this person maybe really treated you harshly or something like and they're just kind of nervous if you'll accept them if you will hear them out I think they have a lot of fears when it comes to future planning in this connection and they want to share those fears with you they don't know how you feel and I feel like you Honestly, I think you both feel the same way. You both have a lot of fears moving forward and a lot of fears when it comes to coming together. Even though you both want to come together, you're just wanting it to go. You're both wanting it to go smoothly. You both are wanting to not let your fears um, like, keep you apart mentally, emotionally, and physically. Because I do think that's happened in the past where you both feel so connected to one another, but like emotionally distant and I think this person doesn't want to be emotionally distant from you anymore they really want to share what's in their heart and they're hoping that you do as well I think this this person definitely misses you I'm getting like nostalgic vibes I'm also getting this person really wants to touch you and kiss you and like fondle you and like I don't know this person just wants to spend time with you they want to like just rub up on you and stuff like that because they really just miss being connected to you in that way and again, you make them very happy. You bring them so much peace and like upliftment and and um this person, like I said, truly enjoys you and they want like a successful relationship with you. And they want you to be able to trust them with this innocent card here. I definitely feel like there's been like this level of like distrust in your relationship. Um, maybe there's been a question of this person's intentions. I think this I think you both are on the same page where you both have questioned each other's intentions at some point in time. And I think you both have the same, have had the same intentions and still have the same intentions, but it was like misconstrued because of this eight of swords where you both were like mentally in this like imprisonment of fear, where you both were scared to really show your true intentions with one another. And I do feel like you both have like, you both, your hearts are in the right place. This person's heart is in the right place, definitely. Um... I think you both are just inexperienced when it comes to having like a healthy, successful relationship and when it comes to expressing expressing emotions and being vulnerable with one another. It's like you both have a hard time trusting your feelings and therefore trusting each other that you both that you both feel um like loving feelings towards one another. Like you're in love with one another because I definitely feel like this person's in love with you, but you both mean well. It's like it just doesn't it it sometimes comes across differently. And it's just because you both are in your head and you allow like your fears and your doubts and your worries to kind of plague you and override what you feel. And I think that's something that you both want to stop doing. Most definitely, because you both don't like again, don't want to give up on this and you both have been manifesting this and want to have a successful future. 
you know, I do feel like this person is going to talk to you about like future stuff, like planning for the future about what they want moving forward. I think this person is definitely going to um, talk to you about some of the work they've been doing in terms of like their shadow work or their inner work. Um, this person has been sad because they miss you and they're not with you. I definitely feel like this person has been trying to find a way to get towards you, but they're kind of like shy about it. Not Is shy the right word? I'm just getting like a hermit. So this person's really like hermiting right now and trying to see things clearly because I definitely feel like this person couldn't see things clearly because it was plagued by like a lot of fear. So yeah, this person sees you and then we have here and now and it says your true love is already a part of your life. So this person sees you as a true love person. Um, they want you to be a part of their life. This person is someone who wants to be in the present moment, but also talk about in the present moment, like how to move forward like what do we need to do move forward do you want to move forward do you what do you see like how do you where do you see yourself with me like in the next like year two years five years like I think there's going to be a lot of that type of talk but also taking it like day by day and really putting in the effort if that's something you both are planning for and are wanting to um have with one another if does that make sense it's a very like in my head I'm getting it but I don't know if I'm like communicating it the way that I'm seeing it um which is also something that your person could be going through like I think they're seeing it one way but I don't know if they're going to communicate it in a way where it makes sense because they could be too much in their head with the eight of swords and like overthinking it and over analyzing it creating fear and doubt and so it comes across like confusing a little bit or like or maybe it comes it might come across as them like not wanting you feeling like they don't want a future with you, but that's not the case. They just, I do, I just, I think this person just doesn't know how to communicate it properly. Like, they get nervous. Like, see, I'm, I'm like already kind of channeling like this person. The more they like try to explain themselves, it's just not working out. So, yeah, I think this person just needs a little bit more time to t- tell you what they feel again. Like, I was saying, like, this person needs to build up like their courage and like their strength to tell you this because they want to come across clearly as possible to you about what they're feeling and what they want and they don't want to like it's like this person doesn't want to mess up but they're so like in that space of like not wanting to mess up that they're messing that they're like messing up you know what I mean um okay I feel like I'm done rambling now so yeah that is what I see for you guys so I'm gonna leave it here so I hope this was helpful in some way um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i am sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care